Okay, our first line will go to Anthony. Hi, 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 hi. Still hasn't loaded. Perfect. And next line will go to Cookie. Yes. Uh, Shokoku? Is that what that means? Various countries. So, I just see the center of some countries. I don't know. I want to say certain. Perfect. Hi. Konomori, itsumo mayona. This forest, I'm always lost. Dokoda, uh, dokoda koko. Where is this place? And this next bubble will go to Anthony. Close. Nanika is not nani. They have slightly different meanings. It's kind of like how the word where and somewhere are two different words. Even though the where is inside of the word somewhere, it's not actually a question, right? I live somewhere is not asking someone where it is that I live. Um, so dokoka is when you take what, but you take what is like, like where, right? Where refers to an undisclosed location. Dare refers to an undisclosed person. What is referring to an indisclosed item, so it becomes something. So, what do you think he's saying? Yeah, that's a lot closer. I would translate this personally as, um, are you perhaps looking for something? The the more in, in, uh, English adding the more fanciness because we have the O and SHO is a little bit more fancy of like asking a question for something. Are you perhaps looking for something? Um, Douka naimashita ka? Is there something, uh, do you have a problem basically? Is there something wrong? And the next bubble will go to Cookie. Yeah, a person that is called Haita. Hi, hi. De, o kyakusama de gozaimasu ne. And she says, well, then you must be a customer then. And then she leads him over to Haita's house. Um, these next uh, three bubbles will all go to Anthony. Good guess. The, um, this tanda, tan, tanda, um, is not a relative clause for this. It's kind of weird, but you there is a period basically there um, after tanda, which is a little bit weird because this book does have punctuation, but there, there's a second period there. So it's two separate sentences.
Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what he says. Perfect. Oh, clicked the wrong side. Do do do. Hi hi. And next to bubbles, we'll go to cookie. I don't know. What's the last thing you saw? Mm. Oh, keyboard buttons. Do you know what Yadu means? Yes. Perfect. Much. Good guess. Um, you're a little bit confused here. What does Chatta mean? It is past done. Yes. This means she has done the action of katte kita. What has she done? She has bought something and came here with it. What do you think she bought? Why did she get this alcohol? Did she just like have a craving for alcohol? Hi, hi. So, ah, uh, and then she's, is this like a good thing that she bought it? No, because he's still alive. So she went, well, I went to go buy alcohol to put it on your grave, but... Ipa yaru? Exactly, that's what she's saying. Want to have a drink? <laughs> and you can read the next line. Perfect. And next line will go to Anthony. Who's talking right here? Hi, hi, hi. So Freeman's saying, "omokedo." What does that mean? Hi. So she thinks that the Megame will kudenai. What does that mean? Hi. Yeah. In this case, yurusu is probably meaning forgiveness. I do not think the goddess will forgive you. Date means even, but in this context, we'd use if in English, um, even though if is not on the Japanese verse. Even if you imasare ikoburu. Oh, I guess that's tate. Yeah, even if you act like a goody two shoes, I don't think the, mega, the goddess is going to forgive you. Imasara, that's our time phrase. What does that mean? Hi. And why is it imasara rather than just ima? Yeah, because he's, he's basically saying that this guy right here 
has done some things that the goddess won't forgive. And even if he acts good now, that's not going to make the things he did in the past get washed away, right? So after, so she's saying, since you're such a drunkyard, I don't think she's going to forgive you for not drinking for the last, like, two years of your life. And he goes, ha, 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 ha. Um, Anoko wa, that child, um, fuirun to imas. Minami gawa shoukoku no sai, uh, sensai koji deshita. Um, so he says, so she goes, what child, who's this kid? And he's like, ah, she's called, uh, Firun. And she is, she was a child that was from this national disaster. She's an orphan, um, well, specifically war orphan, sorry. Um, and she's from a certain country on the south side. And the next bubble will go to Cookie. she talking about in the sentence is this um unusual in general or is this unusual for a specific thing exactly that is exactly what it's saying so Atachi is saying hi his personality he is himeruja arumai so because of that it is unlike him to be the kind of person that does actions such as Hito tasukeru. Hi, hi. That's exactly what she's saying. So she says, oh, it's not like you. And what does himeru aramaishi mean? Mm -hmm. Himeru is a person's name. That is the name of the yusha that died 20 years ago. On the last slide. <laughs> <laughs> so long ago we saw his name. <laughs> so what does Aru mean? It is to exist. Um, but this is Da Aru, which is weird. Because it should be... Um, basically, this is kind of oldish Japanese. It's not super no normal. So I'm guessing it's not showing up for whatever you're looking for. But um, my is basically a way to say nai in Japanese, which is not. But it's more like shall not than just not. So if you say you shan't be <laughs> um, himeru is what you would say. So this is actually saying janai with like just saying, uh, yeah, that's all she's really saying. You're not himeru. It's almost just like I'm, you're not even. You, sh you will never even. She's basically saying you will never even be himeru <laughs> No matter like how much you try, is kind of what she's saying, which is quite the burn. Um, Firen, naze watashi no tokore. Firen, uh, why did you come to visit me? And this next bubble will go to Anthony. It's the holy city.
Yeah, that's basically what she's saying. Yeah, she's saying, um, before I set off on my journey, there's some people, because I have some people that I have a relationship, I really ought to go visit them, is what she says. So your first line was like, totally right. Yeah, I had some shopping to do in the in the capital, and I was like, ah, oh, I know someone who lives in the capital. I should visit them before I set off, is uh, what she's saying there. But yeah, that was like a kind of very convoluted sentence. Free Ren has some Japanese. Um, the next two bubbles here go to Cookie. I think it's the opposite. Haita ni kari. I believe that means um, there exists things that I borrowed a bunch from Haita and that I want to return it before he dies. So that's why I came. Because otherwise she could have just grabbed it from his grave. <laughs> I don't... Uh, Yeah, and here it looks like it's being used as a metaphorical thing. Like, uh, in this case, she says, like, I have a debt to you rather than being um, a literal thing being lent, which is more obvious from this sentence right over here, which is going to go to Anthony. In that case, I have one more favor. So, that is a really good guess. So, toremasen is an invitation to whoever you're talking to. So, she's the one doing toroing, not him. Like, if you say, ikimasen ka, it's not saying, um, shall I go? It's saying, shall you go with me? So here, this could possibly be um, take me as an apprentice. It's not in this context, but it just says, will you take a apprentice? The who's the apprentice is not mentioned. So depending on context, it could be, will you take me as one, which is not what's going on here. He goes over, it is the girl. Yes. Which he specifies in the next sentence because it needs to be specified as the sentence itself is not clear who she would be taken on as an apprentice. Um, um, but yeah, it's just a polite way to ask someone to do something. Um, the next two bubbles here will go to Cookie. So this is like really fun because it's like one of the very rare times you actually get to see like what's actually going on when you have arimas with a quality. Do you know what soshitsu ga arimas means? Yeah, the makings of something. This is then has a um, relative clause basically happening using the no here and toshite. So, mahotsukai toshite no soushitsu means to, um, the, apple, the makings of when you're talking about a magician. So, in other words, she has potential to be a magician. The one who has this potential is going to be marked by ni. 
And you will almost never see this in Japanese, like this actual sentence here. This is what it is, but you'll almost never see it. What they normally do is that they take this whole sentence here and they turn it into a relative clause. So they don't have to have the knee in there. So instead it would be maho tsukai toshite no soushitsu ga aru kuriren wa deshi o toremasen ka would be more like common for what you would hear. I, it is so incredibly rare to have the aru, which means、um, to have meaning of aru, and actually have who is doing the having in the sentence actually marked by the ni particle, which is what it actually needs. So it's kind of fun out of this. So it makes sense why that was confusing you, because you're not actually taught that. They normally just fully ignore this, because it's not common. It's, it's, it's him talking so like, differently. Than other people is why he's going out his way saying he's being very specific. Oh, does it say that in the Japanese version? Yeah. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> that might be a British versus American or Australian difference. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. Perfect. And why is there a kudedu in here? It is like a morao. He's saying, Will you do this for me? Kudedu is always is whoever is talking. It means you did the action for them who, who said the sentence out loud. Um. ごめんなさい、ハイタ、それだけできない。Um, she says, I'm sorry, ハイタ、that's the only thing I can't do. 足でまといになるから、cause they'll just get in the way. And this right here looks like a hard sentence, so maybe just the one for Anthony. Yes, Anthony. Hi, Anthony, Anthony. Yeah.、Um, the m i n a r a i is referring to、um, an apprentice magician in this context. Yeah. So, not magicians in general, which magicians in general probably also die.、Um, and the next little part of the sentence will go to Cookie. Eugene is interesting. Eugene, Joe. <laughs>、uh, rather than Tomodachi. Eugene is more、um, emotional than Tomodachi. It kind of goes to the level of Nakama, Tomodachi, then Eugene. Eugene's the most strong. So, I t s u m o r i w a n a i Yes.、Uh, what does the azukatta mean here? Yeah, it is.、Um, yeah, who, the one who told her to look after it is her friend. Yeah, the word accidentally isn't in the sentence, but that is what would be happening. So it's not like it's wrong. Yeah. So desu ka? Dewa betsu no tanomi wo. Is that so? Well, then I'll ask you to do something else for me. 
賢者のエエウエエエウィビエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒエウィヒね、so, this is something that was uncovered from the grave of the wise man Ibihi. <laughs> Ibi, it's like a Pokemon name.、Um, this right here will go to Cookie. Oh, wait, actually, Anthony. No, Anthony. Anthony, it's your turn. Sorry, I almost skipped you. Let's fully ignore that part. It doesn't really add anything to the sentence. Do you, yeah, she do s a r e t e i r u Passive form. Within this, within this book, there is something written down in it. So, she do might be saying noted in your thing. It just means to write down information, but it should be like. Factual information. So it should be something like, in this case, Maho. That's totally okay to Shidu. But you shouldn't Shidu like a fairy tale. That would be weird. It should really just be directly noting down normally some kind of factual information. Like, it was cloudy on September 27th. Would be a great thing to Shidu.、Um, but that's why it's Shidu rather than Kaku. Because Kaku allows there to be more freedom in what's being written. So Shidu is almost like reported or something. Usina w a r e d u It says probably to lose here, it does, but it's like to lose your life. Uh, let's start with the word maho. I, you gotta just start at the bottom. What does maho mean? What kind of magic? Oh, and what does ya mean? Hi, hi. Yeah, so there, yeah, and then we have soul say no maho. What do you think soul say means? Hi, revival of what? Yeah, revival of someone who has died. Exactly. And the、uh, Ushina Wareta, it just is letting you know it's like a loss of a loved one, specifically, versus just like a dead body in general. That, that's why they have that. So it's like to lose, but it's like to lose a person. <laughs> so it's like, so it's like not super what I'm going to do out there. But yeah, that's perfect. But yeah, always start at the backwards. You got to figure out what things are connected and then works better. <laughs> It's a lot of stuff to get confused.、Um, next two bubbles go to Cookie. Cookie, cookie. I don't think that kind of magic exists. Yeah, you're, you basically got it.
So, so this is confusing because you want to start with like sore mo and then it's a like, comma. And you can ignore the fukumete. He's kind of like increasing the stuff on the um, tanomi goto. Hi. Close. So, 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 mo. You translated mo as also, which tends to be a good one to choose for English. What is the other meaning of mo? It's the same idea in Japanese, but we separate it into two words in English. It's even. So, even is actually the better word to pick in this context. So, it's even that is a literal meaning. And in English, we say even with that or even though. So he says, even though it probably doesn't exist, I would like for you to include trans, um, translating that um, book for me. Are you able to do that? Um, yeah. Because, yeah, he says, yeah. And the next two bubbles will go to Anthony. Yeah, in this case, cipher is more accurate for the very specific contracts we're looking at because you don't need a password. Like, it's not like a computer. We're looking at a book and they're having trouble reading the book. So, cipher is what it would be referring to. But that's just full context, right? Could definitely be password. It's a password that, isn't this a password that uses pictures? Definitely possible. But we gotta look. What are we looking at? Is it a computer? No. <laughs> Yeah, if, if, if there was five or six years is a way you could directly translate that sentence. This is, um, uh, because Japanese is a subject drop language, so it's very important to just pay attention to what people are talking about. They're talking about kaidoku and dekimasen ka. So she says, stane is like, isn't it just this? Well, in that case, I only need like, what, five, six years to do that? that that's all she's saying. So just the uh, five, six years. If I have five, six years, I could do it, is basically what she's saying. Um, this next bubble goes to Cookie. Kaidoku is what, I don't know. How did you not notice when we were reading the whole page? Didn't change the page. Oh, hi, hi, hi. So, yeah. Um, good. You're, so who is doing the deciphering here contextually? What do we know what we've been talking about? Yeah, it has to be free run. So because of the context that we know we're talking about free run doing this, so we got Kaidoku here just saying, so, but when this thing, a thing like this is deciphered, what do you intend to do? Dosun no sa? What are you planning on doing? Um, but that's only because of the context.
what's the opposite? Were you not, weren't, weren't you not afraid of death, right? So, Janakata, weren't you not, not afraid of death? Two nines in there. Yeah, it's hard. It, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, really matter because if you directly translate this, you would still get the right answer, right? Um, so, did not, not scare. So, were you not, weren't, weren't, right? Weren't you not scared of death, right? Weren't, danakata, not, weren't not scared of death. Um, but it does get confusing to have a lot of double negatives around. Uh, da, da, da. But yeah, it's because a while ago he was like, I'm going to die and the goddess is going to just be like, I love you and it's going to be great. Um, uh, that was like a conversation back from chapter one. Um, so the next three bubbles here will go to Anthony. No, Ryu, hi. Uh, skip that one and just do the next one. Good guess. What does Yori mean? Mai. Hi. Became more scared than Mai. Yes. So, in other words, I was more scared in the past. So, I'm gotten more. So, uh, I, I was more scared now than I was in the past, is what he's saying here. So, kako tsukeru is to try to look cool. Is what it says. So he's saying, in front of you guys, I want to look cool. I wanted to look cool. So I was like, Psh, I'm not afraid of death. So these are two reasons why he's telling her he's afraid of death, right? First, he was just acting cool. Second, he's actually also even more scared of death than he was back then. Um, but yeah, those, those were kind of hard sentences. Um, this looks like one sentence cookie. So read the whole... Mm-hmm. It's hard when we don't have the you kanji. But this is a uh, iwazu with you kanji. Good guess. Let's start with zu. Let's start with zu. Well, they're right. There is something he wants. Um, I would actually start here with the zu, though. So zu is a grammar that we've probably seen in our books before, but it's not at the level that you would have been taught in any class you're taking yet. Um, it gets stuck after nai form. So this is iwa nai. But with a zu basically allows you to stick it in the middle of a sentence. What does iwa nai mean? To not say. So this is... Yes. So he says, well, I would not say I want to be... I guess, I would not say to the level of being immortal is like the literal thing. As far as being immortal, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say mortality. As in he's saying, I wouldn't say I want mortality. 
Instead, he wants something else. So I guess the want is uh, needed. So what does he want instead of immortality? Hi. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more time. Um, next um, panel, we'll go to Anthony. Yeah. It just means like Sogoku. Exactly. Yeah, the secret structure is just a thing that makes it that you can live a really long life. And she says, ugh, you're such a um, horrible priest, basically. And the next um, two bubbles here go to a cookie. If you. Uh, basically, kata tema is kind of meaning like to take a long time. Is that in here? It's in your spare time. It's like, yeah, I guess it's in your, it's, I don't care if you only, basically say if you only do this in your spare time. Because it's doing it one-handed. I guess it's just... In this context, it's mean like to take a while. He's just saying, don't focus on it. So yeah, spare time is actually what it means. The eye? Hi, exactly. Perfect. Since it's gonna t since I don't really mind if you only do this in your free time, can you just take teacher magic? Yeah. Hi. He's talking about Maho. Yeah, that's basically what it says. Yeah, kate is kind of weird. It's a word. But it's basically saying like zen zen. 
まあそのくらいなら she says well if it's just to that extent いた there she is and、um, Anthony one bubble on this page What was hard to find? That's a good guess. Why does Free Run want to go to this training ground? You're just looking for a nice place to take a nap? <laughs> yeah. So what she's saying here is like, oh, I found you. That's why the previous sentence is, Ita. There she is. So it's not, Atta. Which is like, oh, it's the location. So, eat that, lets us know we're talking about the person. She says, man, finding them <laughs> was quite troublesome. Do you always trade in the forest? Yeah. So, she, she's talking about free r e n t And I'm actually going to have us stop here because、um, I feel like this is probably, they're pretty long chapters. I would guess this is like halfway through the chapter. Maybe. Is that the chapter? I don't know. Yeah, we're, we're somewhere. Where, where am I d o i n g the buttons? I don't know. The chapters are really long. 71. That's the end of the chapter. Yeah, that, that looks right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoilers! <laughs> Flying straight through there. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. You didn't see it.、Um, but yeah, so I'm going to pause here so that everybody can jump on us when like, the story changes. We might reread this page again. But it's just kind of like, ah,、oh, new arc type of idea will be.